Hey guys, it is Gabrielle Aisha. Welcome back to my channel. And today is Sunday and our church is finally going back, not to our actual church building, but we're doing like a praise in the park type thing. So we'll all be in a park and we'll all be in our cars and we can still enjoy the service in person. So this is the first time since March that I'll be able to see some of my church family and I'm really excited about that. But anyways, I wanted to do a get ready with me and at a vlog of the day. I just finished my hair. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look on my transitioning hair, go ahead and check out my previous video. I will leave a card up above and also a link in the description box below. So yeah, let's start with makeup, I guess. I already brushed my teeth, washed my face, shower, all of that. So, and let me show y'all. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it from this shot. Oh, well, you probably can't. Well, let's let's take the camera off. This is what my bathroom looks like post-wash day. All these products here. Yeah, so <laughs> that's not really relevant. Well, it kind of is, but whatever. Let's start our makeup. Okay, so I'm going to put these two up. I don't wear bangs, but that bang, that bang, that bang, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. eyebrows that's usually the first thing that I do I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel yes in the color chocolate one eyebrow so I like to use my pro conceal pro conceal um, Concealer and I use either one of my MAC concealers or this Pro Concealer lighter shade on the bottom. And this is the MAC 266 brush. <laughs> I've had this thing for so long, the name is basically gone. You can see the MAC and like an outlining of the number that the brush is, but you can't really see it. So, whatever, I use that brush and then I use this Elf Flat, what is it called? It's an eyeliner brush actually, but I use it for, um, to do my eyebrow. Then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer and Pro Filter Liquid Foundation. Um, I have the shade 370. I just use my finger to apply the primer. And then I use the the Fenty Beauty 110 foundation brush. This is how I apply the foundation. I do like, I don't like putting it on my hand and then putting it on my face because like you're wasting all that product on your hand. Um, so I just like to squirt it, you can squirt it. Oh. Um, put it directly on my face. And then if I need more, I'll apply more. But I'll go ahead and kind of dab it in. And this is just to get the product on my face. I will go in behind with the Beauty Blender. To further blend. I look a little crazy right, right now, but we gotta trust the process. And usually I will go like real hard on the perimeter of like my where my edges are um, just so I can blend it in 
But since my hair will be covering that, I, it's not a big deal for me today. And plus I'm rushing, it makes it even better. And then you always make sure you get your neck. You don't wanna go around looking mixed match <laughs> in that sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply more like down here. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just wanna make sure that your neck is the same color as your face. Again, I'll go behind with my beauty blender and blend all the way down. Even the bottom of your chin needs to be blended out. You will not catch me not matching. <laughs> Unless I'm rushing like today, but I'm still doing a pretty good job. Okay, and so the next thing I use, I always use my MAC powder to set the foundation. Oh, this is the wrong one. I only use this like once or twice and I dropped it. This was for my concealer under my eyes. Um, I honestly don't know how to do under eye concealer, so I'm gonna be watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos for that. But I'm using my Real Techniques powder brush and this is number 300 and this time this is the this one uh, Mac it was dark golden is a lighter brown color and this one is just a dark the color dark and it is a brown that is like closer to my complexion I just tap the excess off Then I'll go in, I'll add some bronzer um, down here where my cheekbones are to accentuate the cheekbones a little bit. And this is Too Faced in the color I got, uh, Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. And again, this is a Sephora brush. I, I think it's a blush brush, but they told me I can use it, so I do, and I just, go along the line of my cheekbone. Then I will use this blush that I got from Sephora and like one of the little free things with the tart. And my blush brush that I use is, if I can find it. Oh, here, it's an e.l.f. brush, blush brush. E.l.f., tap, tap the access, and then get the apple of my cheek, apple of my face, apple of my eye, <laughs> whatever you call this part right here. And then blend, and then I also usually, I either use my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter, and it has four colors, I love this. Or I'll use my Fenty Beauty highlighter in the color Hustler Baby, and this is also so pretty, I also broke it by dropping it. So disappointed in that. So for the sake of not making a mess today, I'm going to go ahead in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I like using the summer color. It's really light. It's really pretty. Also, tap the excess. The excess, I will say excess. But y'all yeah, know what I mean, excess. And go ahead and apply that above the cheekbone. And I'm gonna probably mix it a little bit with the tourmaline at the bottom. And then I also like to put it here. 
below my nose. And then I like to set it before I do my mascara. I use the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I'll go ahead and I usually put a, like a shower, and my hair is already done. I put a shower cap on because since I'm natural, I don't want this stuff messing up my hair. So this is not covering the whole thing, but hopefully it doesn't mess up my hair. I hold it a few inches away from my face. And, oh, I got it in my mouth. <laughs> I usually use the, oh, I fan it, and it's a dewy look. I fan it a little bit with my face, and then I also go in with the Blotterazzi by Beauty Blender. It's the same company that makes Beauty Blenders, and it's like the same little, same material as a Beauty Blender. It's very soft, and I use this to touch up my makeup during the day, but this is just to, Make sure that there's no water that's left over on my face because it feels kind of weird. <laughs> so that, and then I got this new um, mascara. I received this box from Influencer Charlotte Tilbury, and they provided me with this mascara for free. So I am sampling it. This is actually the first time I'm using it and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. So first, I like to use my lash, my lash curler to curl my lashes. My eyelashes are really long already, but I like to curl them. And then I will go ahead and use this. This is the very first time that I'm using it. And I love the packaging. If you are interested in seeing a video on influencer and how to get like free things on that, because you don't even have to be a YouTuber or an influencer to get free products. I can do a video on that if you guys like. How do you guys apply mascara? Do you do like this a longer lash or do you go like that. <laughs> I do like a mixture of both. And do you, ooh. These two are clumped together, but it's a visible difference. Push up lash, it's like a push up bro. <laughs> Unfortunately, I always make mistakes when I'm rushing. So I should just slow down anyway, because that way I won't have to go back and do it twice. But I just use a Q-tip to correct And this is the look. I'll go ahead and find a lipstick. The one I have right here is the MAC Matte Velvet Teddy. It had a pink top like this, but I actually drove over it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. And then I'm going to go in behind with my MAC Lips Lip Gloss in the color Boo is A37, if you're interested, but it's like a nudie color. And it's really pretty. So this is the look for now. I feel like I wanna wear <laughs> earrings because you can't really see my earrings. My hair is kinda covered here. So I need to go pick out an outfit and it is, it's already 9.58. I was supposed to, <laughs> I was supposed to leave the house at 10 o'clock so I can get there. It takes about 30 minutes to get there. What do you guys think? The studs or the hoop? I actually like the studs better than the hoop, although you can't really see them like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'll go with studs.
Okay, so I'm going to go pick out an outfit really quick. Can't do this on camera because, actually I'll bring you guys. So my closet has not been updated for the fall season. Um, I don't have a lot of fall clothes out here. These are all summer and I just touched white with my makeup hands, so hopefully that's not ruined, but I might just use this today because, um, yeah, I don't wanna have to iron anything because I'm already late. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go for this dress. Oh, I chose this dress. And then we can, ah, come on. This dress, really pretty. Got it from H&M last, maybe two weeks ago. I just cut the tag off. And then I'm gonna pair it with this dress, or <laughs> this purse. It was actually in my Target haul, and I still have the tags on for this. Haven't gone anywhere, so there was nowhere to use it, or no, nothing to use it for. So I'm finally using it, and it, I think it looks really nice with this, so I'm excited. I am very late, it's 10.30 right now. Uh, they told us to get there at 10.45 so that they can start on time, but CPT. Hopefully there's space for me. I know I'm gonna be all the way in the back with all the latecomers. I'm usually on time at church, well, on time, like 11 o'clock on time. Um, but anyways, nonetheless, I'm excited to go. I'm all dressed, I'm all made up, so I need to get like a breakfast bar or something and head out, and I will see you when I get there. Bye. I am on my way to church. Late. It's ten fifty four. Wait, wait, can we get a Father, we ask that you would look upon this land, God. Amen. Hallelujah. People are dying across this world. Famine across the world. But God, we know that you in full control. And for that, we say thank you and we praise you. We glorify thy name. We love you. Now, Lord, we thank you for what you shall do. We thank you for what you've already done. Now, Lord, we're going to be careful to give thy name the honor. We're going to be careful to give thy name the glory and all the praise. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I know we in the pocket line, but we can still praise it. I know we can still lift this name on high. He's good and his mercy is good for you. Your mercy endures forever. And not your glory. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Oh, for who you are. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
people in seven months and we're finally all together we, we finally got to fellowship with each other and it was so nice to see everybody bless you too ah, I'm making a vlog so you're on it <laughs> I love this I really hope we do this again it was so nice seeing everyone and I really enjoyed it everyone's leaving it's almost one o'clock in service ended probably like about an hour ago Oh, I love it. <laughs> Bye.